Scoop. 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 We are taking a look at the top five stories in Brisbane. This is The Scoop. One. Well, France has become the first country to guarantee abortion as a constitutional right. Now, this is uh, the reason people are saying, wait a minute, I thought that it was already allowed. Well, yes, it is. But the reason they are making this historic move is designed to prevent the kind of rollback of abortion rights seen in the United States in recent years. You see that a lot of different states have then taken it upon themselves to then be able to ban it. So this would stop that um, being allowed to happen. So this was the crowd celebrating the news in France. The bill was approved to 780 to 72, so Mm -hmm. overwhelming, uh, yes. Well done. And it would be we, because it was in Paris. Queensland broke more more than 100 (laughs) weather records over summer as residents battled through months of relentless rainfall, heat waves, hot nights, cyclones and floods. The conflicting weather conditions were laid bare in the bomb's summer weather report, which showed Queensland copped an average of 421.9 millimetres of rainfall over over three months. That's 30% above the 1961-1990 average, and a total of 23 places broke daily rainfall records, while another eight locations recorded their highest three months of rainfall in history. Brisbane saw 250 millimetres more participation this summer compared to the average, so it's been wet out there. Remember when they were telling us it's going to be dry? Mm. It's going to be dry. It's mm. a La, La Nina or yeah. La Nino? La Nina. The, which one's the dry one? La Nina. Uh, La Nino. La is, Nino. No. El Nino. La Nino is a dry one. And <laughs> El, El Dryo. El Dryo. <laughs> Stalactites hold <laughs> to the ceiling. I know that. <laughs> hey, Meta owned Facebook Messenger and Instagram experienced worldwide outages overnight. Oh, over uh, half a million users were mm-hmm. unable to access social media apps. Now, the outages also appear to be affecting other major social media apps, including TikTok, Snapchat, Google's YouTube uh, video platform. Um, the outages reported across Europe, here in Australia and Asia, as well as the US, began around 2 a.m. So if you were up and uh, you mm. were thinking, I'm going to get on Facebook to kill a bit of time, you couldn't. Um, no joy for Nightmare you. scenario. They still don't know um, what the go is and they haven't resolved it um, nearly an hour uh, later. So they're still working on it. Um, according to a website, Down Detector. Mm. So you can go to this website mm. and find out why stuff mm. is down. Yeah, it's good. Um, and there were more than 566,000 reports. So who knows? Someone obviously just unplugged the wrong thing. Walked and past the cord and got it with their foot. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Okay, wrong computer. I meant to shut down my laptop, shut down Mark Zuckerberg's. Who knows? But uh, hopefully she's back up and running. Four. The Singapore's Prime Minister has had to defend a deal that they have with Taylor Swift. Now, Taylor Swift is currently performing there after she's been to Australia. Apparently she had a cold. People are blaming Australia. She seems to be right. She coughed once during the concert. Let's move on. (laughs) But he's actually paid for her to be able to go there. Rumour has it, and he hasn't said exactly how much, but rumour has it that it's uh, close to $5 million per performance. Wow. And that is because you might be seeing a lot of uh, big politicians are paying for them to go there to create tourism. So they're saying after COVID they had such strict laws that they wanted to be able to get her there. But a lot of other people in Southeast Asia are saying it's not fair because it's the only place she's going to just because she got paid. But the Prime Minister has defended it and it was in a uh, joint news conference and who did he have named during the conference? Albanese, yeah. who is a Swifty. So he's like, this is going to be fine. Is he oh. following her me? around it's the world on her good. tour? I reckon, he, I don't know. It seems like he is, isn't it? It's be like, hey, you're in Europe on holidays. Me too. Yeah. What a coincidence, what a coincidence. Taylor. <laughs> I'm getting married here. <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow's disastrous Willy Wonka experience, which has gone viral, has now inspired a horror film. An AI-generated ad misled attendees into thinking they were forking out 35 quid for an immersive experience, and they got one jelly bean and a half a glass of lemonade, and it looked like a meth den. It was uh, pretty horrible. But a new film from Caledonia Pictures is being rushed into production to capitalise on the global infamy, infamy enjoyed by the story. <laughs> It'll focus on because they did they threw in a character that doesn't exist. Yeah. It was called the Unknown, and it looked like the Aussie horror icon, the Batter Book. Uh, it had like a silver mask yeah. and big long hair and a cloak, and yeah, and it popped out from behind a cupboard and freaked out all the kids yeah. who only had one jelly bean. Uh, and it was played by a 16-year-old girl, apparently. Uh, now it'll focus on the unknown, a character devised for the Glasgow show, and it'll follow an illustrator and his wife who are haunted by the death of their son, Charlie, and they attempt to escape their grief mm. in the Scottish Highlands where an unknown evil awaits them. There's lots of unknown <laughs> evil in the Scottish Highlands, there let me we tell go. you. Mm-hmm.